The case relates to a letter that Shane Drumgold, the former Director of Public Prosecutions, sent to the ACT's Chief Police Officer uh, shortly after a Mr Lehman's trial was abandoned due to juror misconduct, which has of course left no findings against him. Uh, Mr Drumgold made several claims about Senator Reynolds' conduct during the trial in that letter. He referred to it as disturbing. Now, for legal reasons, we won't repeat uh, the precise claims that he made, but Senator Linda Reynolds claimed they were defamatory. Uh, and in incidentally, Shane Drumgold uh, did withdraw those claims when he was giving evidence last year at an inquiry into how the case was handled. Uh, Linda Reynolds claimed that the ACT government uh, as uh, for its role, was vicariously liable uh, for the publication of defamatory material uh, given that this letter was ultimately released uh, to uh, a media outlet under freedom of information and then subsequently uh, reported on widely. So what are the terms of the settlement, Patrick? Uh, the ACT government has agreed to pay $90,000 to Senator Reynolds, uh, $70,000 of which is damages and $20,000 uh, is to cover some of her legal expenses. Uh, now, the ABC has sought clarification from Senator Reynolds' office as to whether she is continuing uh, with uh, a separate claim or, or, or rather continuing with this claim against Mr Drumgold Personally, he was named as uh, a defendant uh, in this case. Uh, but as far as uh, the ACT government is concerned, the Attorney General Shane Rattenbury says he believes the matter is now resolved. The settlement does include a formal apology from the Territory. Uh, that apology is made by the Director General of the Justice and Community Safety Directorate on behalf of the ACT government. Uh, it has been provided to Senator Reynolds and she is free to publish it as she sees fit. Shane Drumgold, separately, Shane Drumgold, Patrick, will today learn the outcome of a challenge to the findings of that inquiry into the case. Right. Shane Drumgold has sought a judicial review of uh, the findings from that Board of Inquiry in the ACT Supreme Court. Uh, many of those findings uh, were critical of his conduct during the prosecution, but he has argued that uh, the inquiry chair, Walter Sofronoff, may have been biased against him, and that's based off his communications with a uh, journalist at the Australian, Janet Albritson. Mr Drumgold has also argued that he was, uh, in some areas uh, of that inquiry, denied natural justice. Uh, and so we expect that uh, that decision will be handed down at about two o'clock this afternoon. Uh, Shane Drumgold is seeking uh, either for some of the findings of the inquiry to be set aside or uh, for another legal declaration about the way the inquiry was conducted.